In this video, we're going to talk about the first set of outputs for this grow bed design, which is maximizing your grow beds. And the outputs here, as you can see, they have uh, the parameters are listed on the left, and then you have the corresponding formula that you can use to calculate that specific output. So the number one thing is your total greenhouse area, which is going to be your first calculation. Now that is a pretty simple calculation that you can do, which is your width of the greenhouse times the length of the greenhouse, and that's going to give you your total greenhouse area. The second thing is you need to know what width of grow bed that you can use in your greenhouse. Now the width of the bed is going to depend on the size of the greenhouse or the width of the greenhouse that you've decided to use. Through the designing process, the recommended width of grow beds that, that I recommend is if you have a greenhouse that is bigger than 21 feet or 6.5 meters in width, then the most efficient grow bed size is eight foot uh, and that eight foot wide bed is going to maximize the space that you have in your greenhouse if your greenhouse is less than 21 feet or six and a half meters then the recommended area would be four feet in order to, for you to maximize the space that you have you can do an experiment on this you can take the sizes that i've listed here and uh, draw out an eight foot wide bed or a four foot wide bed and you're going to see how a bigger bed in a in a size of greenhouse that's not recommended for is can really use the space in the greenhouse inefficiently and that's something you really don't want to do uh, that's something that we've learned over the years with our designing process and this is the recommendation for the sizes of the greenhouse so if you're choosing a, a greenhouse that is bigger and that can accommodate an eight foot wide bed that's always a better way to go because that way I think, you know, in my opinion, you are able to maximize the greenhouse space that you have, which is a very expensive piece of real estate that you must at all costs maximize. Moving on is the number of beds. The number of beds is your greenhouse width divided by your bed size plus two feet. Now that two feet is a number that we use to accommodate the space or the access space between two beds. Now two feet is the minimum that we suggest and you want to add that into this calculation so that you can get the appropriate number of beds at the same time accommodating for that two foot space. Now you could use more than that if you want to. We recommend to have at least a minimum of two feet between two beds. And you can also use a length in meters so that you don't have to use feet if that's not part of your calculation system. You can use meters here as well. Convert two feet into meters and you can add that to get your number of beds. Total walkway or access space, this is all the space that is going to be left once all the beds are installed or are put in there. This is the space that's available for walkway or access. Remember, once you start growing in your aquaponic system, you want to be able to reach the grow beds from any direction. Now, an eight foot wide bed needs to have access on both sides so that you can reach the plants in the center of the grow bed. And that's the reason why we need to have a calculation for the total walkway or access space. So the formula for total walkway or access space is equal to the greenhouse width, the total greenhouse width, minus the number of beds that you've just calculated previously times the width of the beds. And once you put that together, you'll get your total walkway or access space. Next, you want to look at your walkway or access space between each bed. Now, this is an important one, like I was just saying previously, is that you want to make sure that you have enough space in the middle between each bed that you can have access to the plants right in the middle. The formula for that is the total walkway space that you just calculated previously divided by the number of beds plus one. Now the reason we use that plus one is to accommodate for the both sides of the grow bed on the right and the left. 
On the right side, you're going to need space to have access to your grow beds. You're going to need space on the extreme left side or your last bed or your first bed to have space to access your plants. So that plus one accommodates for the first and last grow bed space that you need to have in order for you to you or your employees or people that are harvesting the crops to be able to go ahead there and reach the, um, uh, the plants in that.